Good morning, modern steaders. Let's get the fire going this morning. We got a couple of inches of fresh snow last night. It looks so beautiful out there. We'll be going outside in a minute. But first, let's go around inside and see what we've been up to this week. We have, we have our concrete drying from our concrete countertop pour that we're making for our built-in desk. We have it all barricaded. We didn't want Figaro, yes you mister, walking all over the concrete and getting stuck in it while it was curing. It's not quite ready to come out of the forms yet, but we signed our names in it. And Olivia signed, made sure she signed Pluto's and Figaro's names. If you haven't seen the video of us making the concrete form and pouring the concrete, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. See, that's why we had to have it covered up, Figaro. We knew it, you'd be all over it, getting stuck. One of the other things we've been up to is we've been working on growing farter with barley seeds. We bought some barley a while ago and tried it. I never had luck with it. These are the original seeds. I let them dry out because they're garbage. I had them out here for over 10 days with seven of them trays going, nothing. And this is what happened the first time I tried fodder and that's why I never did anything else with it. So it was like a big failure and I stopped trying to do it. Which I should have never given up. I should have pushed through and kept trying and tried some different seeds. That's what I did this time and let me show you. See how good it's coming and we just put these seeds out the other day. Bring them out in the light. And they are starting to sprout. The first time I tried growing the fodder, I went out online. I went to a company, it's what they do. They sell sprouting equipment and sprouting seeds. I bought a one or a two gallon pail of organic non-GMO sprouts and followed their directions with no success. So I wrote it off as a failure. This time, I tried their seeds again and it still didn't work. But I wasn't giving up. I went to our local feed store and I ordered organic, non-GMO, organic barley feed seeds. It's just a 50 pound bag from the local grain mill. Put them in some water and they're doing great. So I'm assuming that these have been sprayed with Roundup at some point in their life. Even though they were said they were non-GMO and organic, there's no way that something didn't happen to them because not one ever sprouted for me. We still have a lot of experimenting to do with growing fodder, but now we know it can, it'll start sprouting for us. That excites me, and I can't wait to get growing more of this to feed to the pigs and the chickens. This is really gonna up our game with feeding our animals the best food possible for them, so in return, they can feed us the best food possible for us. Let's go check on the cave and see how it's going. Awesome. We got a copa, a capicola, and our prosciutto hanging. Boy, that just looks beautiful. Oh. We started curing the copa and the prosciutto here in October during our three day pig harvesting class. This April, we're going to be doing a three day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class here at Lumna Acres with Andy and Doug from Hand Hewn Farm. We're only going to be selling eight tickets to the class. So we're going to be having a lot of hands-on experience. And we're going to be learning a ton and just upping our culinary game and learning how to preserve so much great food and making so much great food. I hope you join us there. I'll put a link here and in the description down below to find out more about the class. The vents in the cave have been working awesome. I opened them up a little bit the other day. It's been warming up a smidge outside, so we want to make sure we have good, cool airflow. Hey, 
It feels like just yesterday I was thanking all the modern steaders for reaching 17,000 subscribers. We just reached 18,000 subscribers. Thank you. And when we reach 20,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing our Yardbird Chicken Plucker giveaway. This is the chicken plucker we'll be giving away. It's in the box, ready to go. We're just waiting to hit our goal of 20,000 subscribers. If you'd like to learn how to enter for your chance to win the giveaway, I'll put a link here and in the description down below for the giveaway. You ready to go outside? Come on. We've been working on finding a great bread recipe lately and we've been cooking it in our Dutch oven. We have an older Dutch oven without a lid we were on Amazon the other day and they had these large cast iron Dutch ovens on sale for 27 bucks with shipping. I'll add the large Dutch oven to our Amazon store and I'll put a link to that in the description down below. But we can't wait to make sure we have a good bread so we can make some amazing BLTs this year. We're going to be using heirloom tomatoes and pasture-raised bacon that we cured smoked here at Lumna Acres. I think that is cat food, Figaro. You ready, Pluto? Look how beautiful it is. A little bit of fresh snow on all the trees. Chickens are doing good. They're not laying very many eggs right now. Hopefully their egg production picks up soon. Where's my handle? I put it on backwards. There we go. I don't know why the chickens always think they need to get pedicures. <sighs> Not fun when you gotta go to the store once or twice a year and buy the best eggs you can buy from the store, but they're still not as good as your own. 
You girls need to up your production. I'm hoping the fodder will help with that. Yesterday afternoon, while it was a little warmer out, I fixed the broken pig fence. I let the pigs out. They ran around being boneheads. They walked right over to this corner. You can see their tracks. And stepped right over the fence. So before I let them back out, I need to add another strand of fence because the snow's so deep. But they were having fun running around again. Good morning, girls. How you doing? Better if you were out in pasture, huh? But you jump over the fence. We can't have that. This feed has been working great. The pigs will dig out the snow and get their feed. I'm so glad me and Olivia took the time and built this last spring. It's coming so handy. And the pigs love having continuous amount of feed available for them. Pluto just loving the snow. Huh, Pluto, you love the snow, don't you? Do you think Figaro's in the window keeping an eye on us? Look at your beard. You're all frosted up. Look at me. Yep. There's Figaro sitting in the window. We're outside and you're inside, mister. <coughs> the outdoor kitchen is waiting and ready for our next pig class. It's actually a lot warmer in here than it is outside. Can't wait to start using this again once the weather warms up a bit. Maybe we can have a sledding party soon and have a bunch of friends over and keep some coffee and hot chocolate warm on the wood stove. That'd be fun. Don't forget to sign up for your chance to win the automatic chicken plucker. We're going to be at 20,000 modern steaders before you know it. So thank you for that. The link is down in the description down below. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Hear the woodpecker, Pluto? You're crazy. You're crazy. Let's go.